We're gonna be driving through some snow today. Hooray! Snow fell overnight. We got our load protected under the tarp here. And we're about to get going. Looks like everyone else is sort of getting ready to get rolling here too. <coughs> Excuse me. Go around, check out all the tires and everything. Make sure that everything works. We'll be on our way. We're in Brainerd, Minnesota. We're right now in Fort Francis, Ontario. This is not gonna be too much fun, but we gotta get it done because I wanna get home tonight. I have to get home tonight. Tomorrow is Britt's egg retrieval surgery, and I gotta be home for that. So we gotta get this load off my trailer, and judging by the weather, we'll be just pointing our nose straight home and getting home as soon as we can. Probably won't even worry about a reload. At first I was kind of thinking maybe we'll grab something on the way home. But if the weather's going to be this bad, I'm already going to be delayed. It's six hours down to Brainerd where I got to deliver this. And then it's about uh, four hours. No, sorry, not six hours. It's three hours down to Brainerd where I got to deliver this. And then six hours back home. So I have some extra wiggle room in there with my log hours. But not too much. I don't want to risk it, go and try to pick something up and then get stuck somewhere overnight and then I miss the appointment tomorrow. So it is what it is. Hopefully the snow doesn't get too bad. There is a snowfall warning in effect. That doesn't usually mean too much, it just means that there's gonna be snow, watch out. But as we get back onto the plains, I might go up Highway 59 to go back then in Minnesota, because that's through the bush, rather than going up Interstate 29 in North Dakota. So Interstate 29 is on the open plains. And as soon as it starts snowing there, you get a little breath of wind and you get all this blowing snow and everything's blinding. But if you go through uh, the bush, you got the trees sheltering you and it stops the wind. And then you just got the little bit of snow falling. It's not as bad, you can see better. But it is a two lane highway instead of a four lane divided. We will assess the situation as we go. We've gotta get out there though. get to Deer River. It's not supposed to be snowing today in Brainerd. So it won't be all day that we're driving in snow. That's good. said they're expecting a couple of inches in some places four to seven inches so it's gonna be a good bit of snowfall in, in areas but I think we're gonna miss the majority of it the majority of it is supposed to start falling here in about two hours and as we get further south it's supposed to clear up then on our way home it's not supposed to be as bad out that way a little west of here. I mean, we'll see. Weather changes all the time. There's the surf. We're in International Falls, Minnesota now. Just crossed over. Is going to be 
here. It's going to be nearby, but if all of my predictions and calculations are right, I've done all my weather research this morning, we should miss it. But with our luck, we might catch the tail end of it. Who knows? All I know is I gotta get home tonight. So we're gonna have to be careful, but we're gonna have to keep going. Unless they close the roads, we gotta keep rolling. Well, we also gotta make our own personal judgment. You know that. You've, you've seen in the past where the roads were open, but I've made the call that, to me, the roads are closed. But I don't think it's gonna get to that, especially, like with this snow, I'm gonna avoid the open plains. I'm definitely not gonna go up I-29. I'm going to stay on the Minnesota side in the bush. Hopefully that'll uh, keep the snow from blowing around too much, you know? We'll see if that plan works. But then again, we'll assess the plan as, as we execute the plan. Plan for the plan to change. You don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We don't know what's going to happen. In and out. Off duty. Off duty. Let's go grab coffee, stretch our legs. I don't want to stay too long though, because I want to rush down to Brainerd. I don't want a whole big lineup there when I get there. I want to beat the rush, hopefully. I might be just in time for the rush, who knows, but you know. I want to at least try to get there as soon as possible. I want to go home. All right. Good. About 15 minutes. I had to clear off the taillights on my trailer. They were all covered in snow. Turn left. These things get covered up so quick. 
It'd be nice to have heated lenses back there, but uh, those are pretty expensive. You can replace all of them, make all the lights for the cost of one heated light. So if I owned the trailer and I owned, owned the whole thing, maybe I'd look into it. At least for the tail lights, you know? Turn my nose this way so I can see who's coming. And I'm way too nice. I could have cut in there, but I won't. So is this guy going? UPS is coming this way. Okay, so I'll wait for UPS and I'll wait for this pickup truck here. And that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. See, we didn't have to cut anybody off. speeds I have in this transmission it's an 18 speed so I can split all the lower gears and higher gears I usually split all the higher gears when I'm hauling a load anyway just to make it a little easier on the truck it all depends though sometimes you skip gear sometimes you don't it's nice having all those gears available though even if you don't use them all the flags are still at half mass it's been all week what happened That one's not at half mass. Easy, easy driving. Truck sort of come and go. 
I've never seen a huge lineup in the middle of the day. It's quarter after 11 right now. So I'll get there at about 11.30-ish. 11.30, yeah. I get myself untarped, all my equipment put away, unloaded before lunch. I think it's a six hour ride home from there for me, so. I gotta bring this trailer to the yard. Especially if it's snowing, I want this uh, trailer in the yard where uh, it'll be out of the way. And all I can do is hope that that snowstorm up north is calmed down by the time we get up there. We might actually benefit by slowing down a little bit, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. Really, I'm just gonna go. done. Got two more lifts on that side. Oh, I gotta shovel that snow off the back there yet. I'm gonna be ready to go. I'm just going home empty, so as soon as we're done here. I'm gonna stop in Pillager, Minnesota for fuel, though, and a coffee. And that's the last stop before Canada. I hear it's blizzarding up there right now. Got all my paperwork done. Oh, it's kind of windy out here. Shoot, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't feel it inside the cab. There might be a bit of wind noise on the camera. Just excuse that. I'll let you know in advance. Oh boy, I gotta clean this truck out. What is this doing here? Oh, this is my wipe anything rag. I always have a rag or a microfiber towel laying around somewhere that I use just to you know, wipe the headlights or something that I can easily quickly grab. I saw this here. I need to get that snow off my trailer. And I saw this. I figured I could use that, but it's not loose. Shoot, I thought it was loose. <laughs> this is loose though, this'll work. Oh, windy. Trucker Josh, you should have a shovel with you. I know, I know. I know, I know. Man, when did that wind get here? Yikes. Get this off so that it doesn't fly through one of your windshields. Day. These are all visible. License plates visible. Come on. I mean, it's soft snow. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt any vehicles. It'll just disintegrate on your windshield. But it might scare the driver make them do something crazy and then end up in the ditch or in a oncoming traffic or something. I'm just gonna put this where I found it. Right there. Oh, it's windy. And it's coming from the north, which is great, because that means that, uh, oh, what's what's going on here? Wait, what's going on here? Hey. No. Don't mess around with me. Don't mess around with me. Oh, man. Looks like I've got a project this weekend. That's great. Always something. It's always something. Let's put our four ways on. See if, oops, see if the signal works in there. Okay, so the signal works in there. Oh, what in the hunt? Oh, oh, man. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you guys out of the wind. That's why I'm keeping my back to the wind. Oh, come on. <sighs> you can see it's sort of on, right? The wires aren't quite connecting. <sighs> Why? Okay, well, that's something we're gonna work on inside the warm shop, not out in the cold wind. Seriously, there's always something. I like lots of lights. I like chicken lights, but tell you what, they're a lot of maintenance. It's always something. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe going down the road, the vibrations will fix it, you know, if we're lucky. Oh, wait, what am I doing getting... 
I gotta change first. Look at me, I'm filthy. I'm a dirty man. I gotta get new pants on at least, a new shirt. I sweat through these. One second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm just waiting for two cars to come from our left here. Nice, Le not a Lexus, Lincoln, Lincoln. Oh, the other guy turned, okay, let's go. at half mast here on the right. I guess I could just Google why. I haven't One decided yet. yet. Turn right on Washington Street and on 210. And I don't really watch the news. I definitely don't watch cable news. None of that. I get my news off of uh, online sources podcasts and uh, YouTube a lot. Very rarely do I watch cable news. Like in Canada, that would be cable. Uh, cable news would be CBC, Global, CTV. I don't watch any of those. I, I, I can't. The nails on a chalkboard for me. No 
freight. I just want to go home. It is pretty windy here yet. I'm really looking forward to when the trees really fill in a lot. Celsius is equal to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. No, 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 no. What is minus 15 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 15 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. That sounds better. <laughs> I'm like, 50? Wait a minute. Isn't 50 warm? I mean, I don't speak in Fahrenheit, but that sounds a little warm. Yeah, 5 Fahrenheit. That's, that's, warm. that's what it is right now. It's going to go down, down, down.
we made it. Didn't even have to drive through too much snow today. Though Old Blue would beg to disagree. Had some problems with lights again today. First of all, <coughs> this is working again. I told you, just a little bit of rattling down the road and it'll fix it. I'm a mechanic. And then, can you see it from here? I might have to jump up on the step. In the center three, the one on the left, the LED on top stopped working. I'm kind of disappointed in these parts M parts. Parts M, that's what they're called, parts M. It's the brand I've been going with for all these lights. They don't last. Seriously, that's the third one I've had to replace within a year since I've replaced those. I've had to replace these strips underneath here twice, both sides, twice already. I went with a different brand than parts I am this time for these. So far, they've been lasting longer. The lights as well are parts of them. And I think actually this, this one's not lit up as bright as it should be. I know the camera doesn't really show it, but that one's brighter than this one. Oh yeah, see there's a bit of a short on that one there. Or not a short, but a, a loose wire somewhere. So the wiring, that's my fault, okay? That's, uh, can't blame them for the wiring. These lights are awesome. But uh, remember my signals I had to replace? Those were parts Sam. These were parts Sam too. I went with them again because they're the, some of the easiest to get. But I don't know what's going on with these LED lights, man. It's just, it's always, always something. But I'm going to keep adding lights to the truck because I like chicken lights. I like the truck lit up like a Christmas tree. It's just, the more lights you put on, the more you got to replace them and redo the wiring. And especially in wintertime here in Canada, it's just that, that road grime gets in there. <laughs> Ruins everything, everything. Except my day, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. Okay, so uh, let's uh, see if I can show you from up here. Can you see it there? Now ah, here. And to top it off, my tail lights. Wire got disconnected in the snow. Oh man. So the tail lights up there worked, right? Hello. Nobody home. So look at this where the wires are coming in. This is why I said Old Blue disagrees. We went through some snow today. This is all filled up here. I can't even work on this until the ice melts off. So somewhere in here, the wires go down here, into there, behind there, through the snow. Somewhere in there, a wire got disconnected. So I gotta get going home. By the time I come back here on Thursday, the snow will all be melt. Did I catch that on film? Oh, oh, now they're off again. What was that? <laughs> there's ghosts. What in the world? Uh, okay, so there's obviously a wire that's just not connecting properly. Same thing as that front one. Huh. Are you gonna do it again? Come on, old blue. What did I touch here before? What, what did I? Oh. Okay, well, so we know the lights work. That's a Thursday problem. I'll fix it before I hit the road. Um, the good thing is, even if these aren't on, I have those tail lights up there. So, and signals and brake lights. So I have those if these just want to be stubborn. But I have a feeling, especially since they popped on a second ago there, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty easy to fix. I just have to find out where the loose connection is and just exactly like that and we'll fix it. It's always something. It's always something. All right, I got to go home. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Uh, Theo's already sleeping at home and uh, Brett's probably going to be in bed already. 
Tomorrow is the big procedure day, the big uh, fertility egg retrieval. It's her second egg retrieval. It's her, our last one. We're only doing this one more time. So tomorrow is, uh, oh, it went back on again. It's gonna go off. Well, you, you watch it in the background there while I wrap this vlog up, see if it goes off again. So yeah, the I gotta go and uh, do my part tomorrow and then they will uh, take her eggs and take my guys and they will begin the fertilization process and then we wait five days for them to mature we see how many of them are fertilized and how many of them uh, last and after five days we'll know how many embryos we have I believe it's five days it's been a little while since we did this last time we'll talk more about this tomorrow why don't we leave this for tomorrow because I got to talk about something tomorrow if I explain it all today then we got nothing to talk about tomorrow so tune in then I won't be in the truck, just a heads up, but we will be at home here. Uh, it's, a, it's a big day for us. I, I'd really appreciate it if you if you tune in and join us. It's it's a big life event, and uh, we're, we're very, very excited about it. So I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe down below for daily videos. Hit that bell so you don't miss one. And if you want to support us one step further, you can click that Join Now button and become a member of the channel. Premium members get early access to all the videos. At this moment when I'm filming this, I'm behind about six videos and I don't have anything up online, but I'm gonna catch up tomorrow and the members will have all six videos to watch as soon as they're on the internet and I make them go public for everybody at uh, uh, one per day after that, but that's that. Click the join now button, it'll explain it all for you there. If you're not interested, the best thing you can do to support me is leave a comment down below and hit the like button. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. I gotta go home and go to bed, need my rest. Not really about me now, is it? But See you then. The day after tomorrow, we'll be leaving on a trip again, and uh, we'll have some time in the shop here to work on all this wiring, and we'll see if we have time to replace that one up there. Uh, that's not a priority, because the majority of it's still working. Decide that then. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Be safe.